everybody, this is Caroline Alizan and Associate and a graduate student of the Grog Trade Mentoring Program. It is Thursday, November 11th, 2010 and we're looking at the Q's Daily Chart. And wow, look what happened here today. We are outside this rising wedge formation that is here on this chart between these two pink trend lines that you see here. And what happened here, we got down this morning into a pretty major area of support right here at the 5288 mark and we bounced right back up, getting stopped at this upper area of resistance right here at 5348. So let's take a closer look at this high base that we see here at the top of the rally, actually at the highs. Let's take closer look at it and see what actually happened there today. Let me do that here. I need to zoom it here a little bit so you can better see the actual setup. All right, that's pretty good here. Okay, so as you can see, we just got this drop and then run up into a major area of resistance. So what we should expect from here on is a move one way or the other. If we get a pop tomorrow through that upper area of resistance right here at the 5342 mark and then we close above the high of today which is at 5348 then we could have some more potential to the upside all the way up to that high at 5404. So what we could see here tomorrow and then sometime next week is we could get a pop and we can get a run up into that resistance right here at 5404 and then once we get there just pay really close attention to everything happening around that area because this is magical everything anything can happen there we could go higher we could bust through it and keep going up all the way up to the upper area of resistance right here at the 5502 mark or we could pull back down and form a and M formation on the daily chart which is bearish so pay really close attention this is a key level at this point at 5404 watch this area really closely and then if we break back to the downside first of all we'll have to break through that low of today which is at 5266 and and then close below it to confirm it and from then on we would have some more potential to the downside right here to that lower area support at 52.25 and then if we bust it through it to the downside we'll have some more potential to the downside here to the next major area of support right here the 51.66 mark so again watch these areas of support and resistance really closely that I mentioned here to you and what's more is that you need to also pay close attention to the MACD which is flat still but it's pointing mo more south than north so as you can see it's showing us bearish so be really careful and trade with your eyes open and tr every single time you trade trade with what you see not what you think so keep that in mind and have a wonderful day and trade smart